Researchers are on the hunt for a tiny menace, ticks. To find them, they've set traps for rodents who not only carry the bugs, but also infect them with Lyme disease. Sometimes they have ticks around their mouths. She does have one on the corner of her mouth. So she has a nymphal tick right there. Initial counts by Rick Ostfeld and his team at the Cary Institute suggest the coming tick season will be a bad one. Researchers are concerned because last year they saw a huge spike in the mouse population. This year they're finding hardly any. That means all the ticks that were living on those mice are now looking for new hosts. And that could be people like us. It is almost a perfect storm for bad Lyme disease risk because we expect lots of infected nymph stage ticks crawling around, starting right around now, um, but very few non-human animals for them to feed on. The Hudson Valley in New York has one of the highest rates of Lyme disease in the country, but experts warn the ticks that carry Lyme, once concentrated in the northeast of the United States, are spreading across the country, due in part to a warming climate, raising the potential of a public health crisis. It took writer and professor Porachista Kapoor years to realize she had Lyme disease. And when Lyme isn't treated early, it can lead to serious complications in the heart and nervous systems. I developed a form of Lyme arthritis around that time too. I couldn't like walk properly. I had flu-like symptoms. I wasn't sure what was happening, if the antibiotics were making me worse. I didn't know what was happening, but it was bad. Those who have Lyme often suffer from fever, headaches, and fatigue. But the disease can be difficult to diagnose and expensive to treat. That's why experts advise doing what they do after being in areas that are wooded or with high grass. Check carefully for ticks, remove them from your body, and with any signs of a rash or flu, get checked by a doctor immediately. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Millbrook, New York.